In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are, that are yours through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. In wisdom is a spirit, intelligent, holy, unique, manifold, subtle, agile, clear, unsustained, certain, not bountiful, loving the good, keen, unhampered, beneficent, kindly, firm, secure, tranquil, all-powerful, all-seeing, and pervading all spirits, though they be intelligent, pure, and very subtle. For wisdom is mobile beyond all motion, and she penetrates and pervades all things by reason of her purity. For she is an aura of the might of God and a pure effusion of the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, no that is solid enters into her. For she is the refugence of eternal light, the spotless mirror of the power of God the image of his goodness, and she, who is one, can do all things and renews everything while herself perdoing. And passing into holy souls from age to age, she produces friends of God and prophets. For there is not God loves, be it not one who dwells with wisdom, for she is fairer than the sun and surpasses every constellation of the stars. Compared to light, she takes 
precedence for that, indeed, night supplants. But wickedness prevails not over wisdom. Indeed, she reaches from end to end mightily and governs all things well. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, our response will be, Your word is forever, O Lord, altogether. Is forever, O Lord. Your word, O Lord, endures forever. It is firm as the heavens. Your word is forever, O Lord. Through all generations, your truth endures. You have established the earth, and it stands firm. Your word is forever, O Lord. According to your ordinances, they still stand firm. All things serve you. Your word is forever, O Lord. The revelation of your words sheds light, giving understanding to the simple. Your word is forever, O Lord. Let your countenance shine upon your servant and teach me your statutes. Your word is forever, O Lord. Let my soul live to praise you, and may your ordinances help me. Your word is forever, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Vine, you are the branches, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And in your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus said in reply, The coming of the kingdom of God cannot be observed, and no one will announce, Look, here it is, or there it is. For behold, the kingdom of God is among you. Then he said to his disciples, The days will come when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. There will be those who will say to you, Look, there he is, or look, here he is. Do not go off. Do not run in pursuit. For just as lightning flashes, and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in his day. But first, he must suffer greatly and be rejected by this generation. May the brethren, the Gospel of the Lord. God is good all the time. Today is November 16, Thursday, 2023. 
The most special day in the progressive creation of God, I suppose, is on February 16, 1968. Because a baby boy will be born nine months after that date, November 16, 1968. That boy, after 55 years ago, is now in front of you. Thank you. Thanks be to God, he has a wonderful creation. But don't look on my face and my body. It might lead you to call me conceited, but look on what I am doing. I am celebrating a mass. I am a priest. This is the most wonderful thing that God has given me and you, the gift of the priesthood. But to tell you frankly, Living in this life for almost 28 years is not that easy. My life before I was ordained and after it and up to now is also full of struggles, pains, hardship, frustration, and others. But the good thing is, through the mercy and loving care of God, I meet my family, my friends, benefactors, my brothers in the OSJ. I thank you all. I managed to cope up everything in my life. Thanks be to you also. Kahit po ngayon lang tayo nagkakita, nagkatakpo, I know you're always praying for all the priests. Your prayers and love really help us to bear the hardship of life. We also pray for all. I desired to be here in Patima long time ago, but it was not given a chance. I was not given a chance because of the burden of my works. So this is my first time here. My life before I was ordained and after it and up to now is also full of struggle. And since I do not have the physical presence of my mother to be my God and protector in my priesthood, Mama Mary is always there. I am a priest, and as I will say, priests are altar Christos, and therefore we are altar sons of Mary. My dear brothers and sisters, Mother Mary and her image as Our Lady of Fatima is very important to me. I got sick on 2014, and it became worse after a year. I went to different doctors and hospitals for a cure, but they could not make myself better. I became thinner and thinner to the point that I really felt that I am too weak. I was too weak physically. The pain in the many sleepless, sleepless nights that I had experienced were so frustrating. We have to understand that no matter how strong we are, if the experience of suffering is not is too long, we cannot to become very prostrated. Thanks be to God, He made me priest before it happened. Sempre iba yung faith ng pari. We are taught in the seminary to believe deeply in God and are trained to rehab, to have this kind of faith. So I really, I really appreciate the vocation that I have. Because in the midst of this suffering, the only arm that I have is my faith. My dear brothers and sisters, I learned a lot about life and death. And it's very clear to me, anytime soon, my life will be finished. But before it happens, I need to fight. I sell to myself. Alam ko sa huli, matatalo mo ako kamatayan because that is the way it is. But it is also clear to me that the most important that I have is my life. Kaya sabi ko sa sarili ko, mahihirapan ka sa akin kamatayan before you win, you win over me. In order for me to fight strongly, I felt necessary to remove everything that hinders me to move lightly. The inner baggages in my life, the things that I have, the clothes and other material things that I somehow depended to live a comfortable life. Ipinamigay ko po lahat sa mga seminarista 
because I was then assigned in the seminary. I just left with, a, with literally one suitcase of clothes and of course my cassock and abs and stole to be worn during my burial. It was placed in a plastic at, top, at the top of my table with a label written it. Kompleto po yun kasi sa dami ng namatay na pari na ako ang nagkasikaso, ay eh alam ko na ang kailangan. I even visited my friend who is an owner of a funeral home to serve a casket for me. But before it happened, I was given the chance to go to the Holy Land for our annual retreat, OSJ annual, annual retreat. At first, I was hesitant to go because I was afraid that I will become a burden to my companions because of my situation. I pray hard in order for me to have the right decision, and I went. After visited and stepped on the places where our Lord walked while He was in this world, I felt so blessed and thankful. I said this prayer to Him, Lord Jesus, now that I already walk in the place, the very place where you walk, there is only one thing that I need to do as your servant, to walk and be with you in the place where you are now. I accept your will, so be it. While on my way back home, when the airplane landed in Naia, I put my, all my medicines in the trash can, Along the way, at the corridor of the airport, trusting that God already healed me because nothing happened to me in the trip, and besides, I was so tired of taking them. Today, I am still here in front of you, celebrating my 55th birthday. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Although I feel that I am not really back in full health because I still feel the remnants of that sickness, I can say that I survive because I pray. It is the power of prayer that made me heal. It is through the intercession of Our Lady of Fatima, I confess to you that I wholeheartedly with tears in my eyes ask and beg her for my healing. I was so tired then of everything that I felt, and she positively grant me grant my prayers. That is the reason I joined this pilgrimage to thank her and to continue guide me and as a vapor and pray for my continuous recovery. I really thankful and my beat is her wish also to her son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to have me here as a birthday gift. I was not the one who made the schedule of our itinerary, but it exactly happens that this day, November 16, we are here. And again, I don't consider it as coincidence or fruit of good chance, but the leading of the Holy Spirit. My birthday is being celebrated in the place of the cause of my healing, the place where Mama Mary appeared, in this place where I am standing right now, Fatima, Portugal. Thank you, Mama Mary. God bless us all. Amen.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery of the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Leap up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as one voice we proclaim. Holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <coughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, who said our bishop, with all our bishops and all the clergy. Remember, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, Joseph Marello, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honors for the Father forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the school to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by pouring forth of your spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those heavenly power has entered through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and continue to serve the Lord.